everybody I wanted to show you a new thing for Ghostmaster this isn't exactly new but this is still something that I don't know if many people know about it's very simple so as you'll see here I'll have a link to this in the description so you can go check it out so here we have the Ghostmaster, Ghostmaster editor made by ZZ Sweep and as you can see this allows you to edit a whole bunch of different things um, powers, your plasma level, all kinds of stuff like that. So, if we just go to download, and if we go in, unfortunately, I didn't save a file like it should have. We're going to try this again, we're going to save, save. View downloads. And let's see. So if we go in here, should be in our downloads folder. Here it is. So with this, all you want to do is extract. Just extract the files. You get this folder. And in this folder, you will find the editor. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if you go in, you can launch it. Um, this requires no installation at all. It just it runs off its own with these two DLL files. So you want to go into load file, and I believe what you want to do, at least for me, go to this PC, go to my hard drive, go to users, public, documents. And Ghostmaster save games, and now you want to find you now you want to find your own save file. Um, the best way to do this is to sort it by date. You'll see this is left over from previous files and so on. So the I think my file my most recent file would be probably this one right here. So that's the easiest way to to figure it out. You open it up, and as you can see. We have a couple different people here. This is actually running from the um, from your rejected ghost mod I mentioned earlier, or in a previous video. So we just want to go in. Um, you can modify anything. You can modify powers. Give them any power you want. Give them any kind of you know fetter. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be cheap. I'm going to max out my plasma. And you just save your file. And now when I load my file, it should. I should be able to see on our plasma. So now, if we go into the ghoul room, as you can see, I have pretty much maxed out my plasma, or I set it ridiculously high, or I can do anything I want with it. Um, with this mod, or with the editor, you can, you know, do anything you want. You can get clutter claws in your power, for example. You can get many kind of fatter. Um, you know, obviously some things might not work very well, like giving, you know, a cog jammer chase, for example, would be probably not a good idea. It also help with somebody like World Weird, who, you know, him and Hardboiled have weird fetters, and I've always wanted to use them, but they just kind of, their fetters don't really work that well, and so I've never found it to be that useful for him, but, and it'll also work with the Rejected Ghost mod, as you can see, here's Azrael. Um, I wish I had done my playthrough of the game beforehand, um, because when I did my playthrough, I had this. I didn't have a rejected ghost mod, but I BSB swapped them into the game, which kind of, it kind of works, but it kind of made things a little bit glitchy. Like if you go into um, Soul Screech, her cape was originally kind of glitchy because I had swapped her with Water Witch, so. But I really do like the rejected ghost mod, it really does kind of, if you ask me, it recompletes the game. It really, you know, the game actually feels a lot more complete now, and they, I feel like they've been given. Uh, you know, the justice they deserve. So, that's pretty cool. Anyway, though, so that's, that's the Ghostmaster Editor. Um, the best thing I can recommend is just, like I said, select your most recent save file. You know, by date and time, and use that. And you should be good to go. So, thank you for watching.